welcome to Borishal Cadet College. I am SM Athikur Raja, lecturer, Department of Mathematics, Borishal Cadet College, Borishal. Boys, I hope that you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Due to Corona pandemic, I could not take your class in your classroom. I have to take your class virtually. Coronavirus is like the flu. Children very rarely get sick, but it feels like a cold. Be careful and tell your parents or teacher if you don't feel good. Tell an adult or your teacher if you don't feel good, you have a cough, your head hurts. For your safety, stay at home, wear a mask, wash your hands. Boys, now I am going to take your mathematics class for class 10. Today's topic, ratio, similarity, and symmetry from chapter 14.1. Learning outcome, at the end of the lesson, you will be able to know about verify and probe theorems related to ratios. Properties of ratio and proportion. Number one, if a ratio B equal to B X ratio Y and C ratio D equal to X ratio Y. It follows that A ratio B equal to C ratio D. Number two, if A ratio B equal to B ratio A, it follows that A equal to B. If a ratio B equal to X ratio Y, it follows that B ratio A equal to Y ratio X inverse and O. If a ratio B equal to X ratio Y, it follows that a ratio X equal to B ratio Y, alternate and do. Number five properties. If A ratio B equal to C ratio D, it follows that A D equal to B C, cross multiplication, because a ratio B equal to C ratio D. That means A by B equal to C by D. By cross multiplication, we get A D equal to B C. Number six, if A ratio B equal to X ratio Y, it follows that A plus B ratio B equal to X plus y ratio y component row and a minus b ratio b equal to x minus y ratio y divide and do but here a ratio b that means a by b x ratio y that means x by y if we add here b then we get a plus b by b if we add here y, then we get x plus y by y. Number seven, if a by b equal to c by d, it follows that a plus b by a minus b equal to c plus d by c minus d. Here, 
we use component row and dividend row. In this equation, we only use component row. In this equation, we only use dividend row. But in this equation, we use component row and dividend row. But now we dis discuss a theorem. Theorem is a straight line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle intersects the other two sides of those sides produced proportionally. At first, we draw the figure. Here, ABC be a triangle and ADE is another triangle. Special nomination. In the figure, the straight line DE parallel to BC to the side BC of the triangle ABC. In figure one, D parallel BC. D intersects AB and SC or their produced sections at D and E respectively. Here, G and E respectively. Here, produced section, that, that means if we extend AB or SC, then it intercepts D and E at the point. It is required to prove that AB ratio DB equal to AE ratio EC. Drawing join B comma E, join B comma E and C comma D, C comma D in the figure and in this figure B comma E, D comma C or C comma D. Proof. Step one. The heights of triangle ADE, ADE and BDE, BDE, ADE, ADE or BDE heights are equal. So triangle ADE by BDE equal to AD by DB. Here, ADE by BDE equal to AD by DB. The bases of the triangles are equal height are proportional to respective areas. Using this, we can write this equation. Step two. The heights of triangle ADE, triangle ADE and DEC, ADE and DEC are equal. So here, if we apply this information, ADE by triangle DEC equal to AE by EC. The bases of the triangles of equal height are proportional to respective areas. Step three. But triangle BDE equal to triangle DEC. On the same base, DE and between same pair of lines. Using this information, we can write it. So, triangle ADE by triangle BDE equal to triangle ADE by triangle DEC. 
step four. Therefore, we can write a d by d b equal to a e by e c. That is a d ratio d b equal to a e ratio e c. Hence, proved this theorem. Boys, now we discuss another theorem. This theorem is if a line segment divides the two sides or their produced sections of a triangle proportionally, it is a parallel to the third side. Solution. At first, we draw the figure ABC here, AD, ABC. Special nomination. In the triangle ABC, the line segment DE divides the two sides AB and SC or their produced sections proportionally. That is AD ratio DB equal to AE ratio EC. It is required to prove that DE and BC are parallel. But in the triangle, in the triangle ABC, ABC, the line segment DE, the line segment DE, the line segment DE, diverge the two sides, AB and SC, AB and SC, AB and SC, or their produced sections proportionally. That is, AD ratio DB, AD ratio DB, a B ratio D B equal to A E ratio E C A E ratio E C. It is required to prove that D E and B C are parallel. D E and B C are parallel. D E and B C are parallel. Drawing join B E join B E and C D B E and C D. Proof step one triangle ADE, triangle ADE by triangle BDE, BDE, ADE, BDE, here equal to AD by AD, AD by DB, DB, triangles with equal height. Triangle ADE, triangle ADE by DEC here, AE by EC, AE by EC. Triangles with equal height. It follows two figure. Step two, but AD by DB equal to AE by EC, which is given. Step three, therefore, triangle ADE by triangle BDE equal to triangle ADE by triangle DEC from step one and two. That is triangle BDE equal to triangle DEC. Step four, but triangle BDE and triangle DEC are on the same side of common base DE. So the lie between a pair of parallel lines. That means BC and DE are parallel, hence proved. Whereas now I discuss another theorem, which is the internal bisector of an triangle of a tri of an angle of a triangle divides its opposite side in the ratio of the sides constituting to the angle. At first, we draw the figure, which is ABC be a triangle here. Special nomination in triangle ABC, the line segment AD bisects the the triangle ABC, 
balance increment bisects internal angle A and intersect side BC at D. Here in triangle ABC, the line segment AD bisects the internal angle A and the side BC at the point D. It is required to prove that BD ratio DC equal to BA ratio AC. Here BD ratio DC equal to BA ratio AC. Drawing, draw the line segment CE parallel to DA. Draw the line segment. CE parallel to DA so that it intersects the site BA produced to produced at E. That means draw the line segment CE, line segment C parallel to DA so that it intersects the site BA produced at E. Proof. Step one. Since DA parallel C and B is their transversal, here DA parallel CE and BE, BE their transversal by construction. So AEC equal to BAD, AEC equal to BAD. Corresponding angles. Now, again, DA parallel C, DA parallel C, and SC there transversal. So, ACE equal to CAD, ACE equal to CAD, which is corresponding angles. Step two. BAD, here we can use alternate angle. Step two, here BAD equal to CAD, which is follows supposition. Now, angle AEC, angle AEC equal to angle ACE, hence, S equal to A. Step three. Again, since DA parallel C, that means BD by DC, BD by DC equal to BA by AE. Step four. But A equal to S E. So BD by DC equal to BA by SC. Boys, now we discuss another theorem. If any side of a triangle is divided internally, the line segment from the point of division to the opposite vertex bisects the angle at the vertex. At first, we draw this figure special nomination let abc be a triangle and the line segment ad from vertex a divides the side bc at d such that bd ratio dc and ba ratio sc here abc be a triangle the line segment ad ad from the vertex a divides the side bc at the point d here BD ratio DC equal to BA ratio SC. It is required to prove that AD bisects, AD bisects BSC, BSC, that means BAD equal to CAD. Drawing, draw at C the line segment, at C the line segment C parallel to DA so that it intersects the side BA produced at E. Proof. Step one. For triangle BCE, DA parallel C, that means uh, we get it from construction. 
B A ratio A E B A ratio A E equal to B D ratio D C B D ratio D C. Step two. But B D ratio D C equal to B A ratio S C. So B A ratio A E equal to B A ratio A C. Here B A A E B A S C. From step one and two. So A E equal to S C. A E equal to S C. Therefore. SCE equal to AEC, SCE equal to AEC. Base angles of isosceles triangle are equal. Step three, but angle AEC equal to BAD, AEC equal to BAD. By using corresponding angle, and SCE, SCE equal to CAD using alternate angle. Therefore, B A angle BAD, BAD equal to CAD from step two. The line segment AD bisects, AD bisects. BSC because BAD equal to CAD. So the line segment bisect this angle A. Hence probed theorem. Homework. In the given figure BC parallel D, BC parallel D, prove that triangle BOC and DOE are similar. Prove that AD ratio BD equal to AE ratio C. Again, prove that BO ratio OE equal to CO ratio OD. Boys, coronavirus has stopped our life. Follow these easy steps to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. Disinfect surfaces around your home and work. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. Try to follow the rules of World Health Organization. Avoid public gathering by which you can save yourself from COVID-19. Thank you.